Hello, Oscar. Hello, hello. Hello, Domingo. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Now you you are in your house, Domingo. Yes. I. Uh, Excellent. Yeah, in, in house. Okay. More relaxed. Yes. More relaxed. Um. Uh, I wet, um, I wet, yeah, uh, uh -huh, wet, I was wet. I was wet. <laughs> ah, okay, sorry. Is it raining around your house? Is it raining? Yes. Ah, good. It's raining in, in Good. El Cojutepeque. Desde San Martín hasta Cojutepeque. Oh, yes, here in, in Mexicanos, it's raining also. It's raining. Not too much, but yes, it's raining. Uh, like one hour ago, it started raining, right? Yeah. But in the day, no raining. In the day, no raining. So only at night, right? Okay, um, Domingo. So only you for the moment. Congratulations. You are punctual. Okay. <laughs> Uh-huh. This is for you. Domingo, okay. Uh, I will give 10 minutes to the to the other students. And I will start with the presentation, Domingo. And today we're going to start with uh talking about enough, enough with nouns. Okay, so let me show you the presentation. Let me show you the presentation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Domingo, only Domingo for the moment. <laughs> uh, today is July 11th, right? And the topic for today is how to use enough with now, right? Last time we were learning about how to use enough with adjective, right? But today with, with nouns, right? Okay. Good. And uh, Domingo, do you know the difference between nouns and adjectives? Yes. What is the uh, difference? Okay, or, or not, let's give me not. one example, right? Give me one example of an adjective. Uh, Digamos, uh, eh, Google, Google Nouns. Digamos, good, good. Eh, so, for example, now, you can say this class is good enough, for example, right? Good enough. Good enough. Uh -huh. eh, no, eh, eh, the weather in El Salvador is eh, rainy enough. Uh, we can say that, right? So, those are adjectives. Big hot, um, uh, short, etc. But nouns are different. Nouns are, for example, we have common nouns like table, door, um, clothes, computer, etc., etc., right? And nouns, those are nouns. So today we're going to learn this, how to use noun, right? and uh, together with enough, okay? Good. So now let's start, Be before we start, right? We're going to discuss topics, right? And the topic for today is intelligence. Oh, are you intelligent? Are you not intelligent? Are you super intelligent? So we're going to learn about this, right? Okay, hey, Oscar, 
in your opinion, what is, what is intelligence? What do you think is intelligence? Intelligence. Uh, maybe a people uh, the think more fast. People the other think fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a good idea. Good. And uh, what about you? I mean, that, what do you think? What is intelligence? Intel intelligence uh, for me is the the people can demonstrate uh, the capacity to 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 make a good decision for every on a specific situations. Nice, I like your idea, right? One reaction or, or one solution for every problem, right? Yeah. They have in the life. That is intelligent. Okay. I like it. I like it, your concept. Okay, Domingo, what would you say about your intelligence? What commentaries can you give me about your personal intelligence? Domingo? Uh, uh, this it is uh, the is the person is uh, how the the good remember. Uh huh. Uh, okay, wait, wait, uh, Domingo. Uh, you say memory, right? Ah, uh, memory. Uh huh. Okay, good. Uh -huh. So, this in your opinion, memory. Domingo, wait, wait, Domingo. In your opinion, you have a good memory. You, you have a good memory, Domingo? Uh, yes or no? So-so. So, so. <laughs> so it's part of the intelligence, right? If a person have, has a good memory, it means that the person is intelligent. Yes, of course, right? Uh, for example, I remember in sixth grade, my teacher made me uh, learn all the capitals of, around the world, right? in America, in Africa, all the capitals, right? The capital of Canada is Ottawa, the capital of uh, Australia is Canberra, the capital of El Salvador is San Salvador. So I learned everything, right? So it's part of the intelligence, right? Also the, the multiplication, right? Las tablas, you know? Come on, it's very, very hard, right? The most difficult for me was the, the number one, right? La tabla del uno was <laughs> difficult. <laughs> okay, thank you, Domingo. Okay, what about you, Oscar? What can you tell me or what would you say about your intelligence? Intelligence. Intelligence is the same smart. Smart is only the electronic. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's possible. Yeah, well, well, I will tell you the difference. A person who is intelligent, like Aminda said, can, uh, can give solutions for, for the problem, right? Uh, and the person who is smart is very fast to think, right? Very fast to think. So you are intelligent and fast. That is smart. Understand? Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Good, good. Now, what about you, Oscar? What would, what would you say about your intelligence? I intelligence mm -hmm. because the, when I don't know in the, when a problem, I look one solution of the resolution uh, the situation uh, depend, depend, depend my in my position nice uh, I can be used to other people or person but uh, fix the situation okay I agree with you yes yes that's nice I imagine for example in your work Oscar you need your intelligence, right? To, to, give, to give solutions to the problems in the office, right? Every day. Every day, of course, yes. 
And you know what? For example, uh, I don't know what you do exactly, but uh, if I go to your job and, and I want to do the same, it's difficult for me. No, I cannot do that, right? Because every person is intelligent in, in, in his or her area, right? Of working, yes. Very good. So, I mean, the, uh, what can you do to increase your intelligence? Okay, uh, I think uh, I think uh, the, the increased intelligence maybe read, read read some books. Yeah, read is one thing you can do to in increase your intelligence. I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah. Right. And what about you, Ever? What is one thing you can do to to increase your intelligence? Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, for me, uh, I took the, the same way that Aminda said, but uh, when the we got the one main tool uh, to we can do it, no? The internet, mm. uh, we can watch. Uh, some documental um nice youtube uh, the the one way the maybe the, the autodidactic is the the, mm -hmm. the correct form Auto, okay? autodidactic the, yes our reactive way uh, for me is a, a good tool to 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 take no uh, watch, watch documentaries, uh, uh -huh. watch documentaries, not you, uh, I understand, something like that. No, mm -hmm. you know, okay, good. So, reading, watching documentaries, right? For example, uh, ever one of my favorite uh, movies, and at the same time, it's a documentary, right? Is The March of the Penguins. The, the March, March of the, the Penguins. Penguin. I never heard that. Uh, I recommend that. It's La Marcha de los Pingüinos, The March of the Pingüinos. The movie won an Oscar. Yes. Oh, yeah. and, and, and remember, all the penguins are in South America, right? Some people yeah. believe that penguins are in, in, um, in North Pole, but no, it's in the South Pole, all the penguins. And the movie was made in that part. So documentaries are very interesting. I like more ever documentaries about animals, you know? I like it. When I can when I can find and in YouTube. Well, honestly, I'm not sure, but maybe you can buy it originally on the street, you know? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, one dollar. So the name is Perfect. the March of the Penguins. March of the Penguins. Oh, okay. Yeah. Listen, Let me ever, you. if you're sensible about animals, I'm yeah. sure you're going to cry when you see the movie. <laughs> because, yeah, really? believe me, I cried when I saw the movie. Because okay. come on, those animals are so beautiful and, and, and intelligent. And yeah, I recommend. So watching, watching documentaries, reading. Uh, Oscar, what other thing can you do to increase intelligence Oscar okay Oscar has some problem with the internet so um welcome Vanessa uh, well we have Carla Vanessa welcome and Vanessa Noemi right <laughs> hey it's a beautiful name Vanessa you know you have to uh, this name, so like like me, for example, I have in my family where like seven Javiers. Yeah, come on. I am Javier. My son is Javier. I have three cousins that are Javier, two nephews that I have. Come on. But some names are, are really beautiful, right? And in this case, I will say Vanessa Noemi and Carla Vanessa. Okay, so the question is for Vanessa Noemi, right? What can you do, Vanessa? But Noemi, to increase your, to elevate your intelligence. For me, 
this problem can be the tutorials, videos in YouTube. Okay, give, so, give me a second, uh, Vanessa, give me a second. Um, I cannot listen very well, but I guess it's my computer. Give me a second. Let me check the, the violin in my computer. Yeah. Give me a second. Okay. I have problems with noise, it's correct. Okay, I, I'm gonna do something. I, I will share the questions for a moment and I'm gonna try to get a, a speaker, but just give me a second, just give me a second. Um, okay. Here, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Vanessa, but I cannot listen to you. Just give me a second. Okay. Here you have, right? Okay, just give me a second. I will I will get one speaker because I cannot listen very well. Just give me a second. Please again. No, no, se le escucha bien lejos y como embatado. No, I don't know if it's me or. Uh, let me see. Uh, Eva, tú me apego. Please, please speak. Say hello, Eva. Say that. Eva? Hello? Hello? No, I cannot listen. Sorry. Teacher, can you hear me? Let's see. Aminda, please speak. Aminda, I cannot listen. Say hello, Aminda. Hello. Okay, good. No. Hello. Okay, give Hello. Me a second, I have problems in my computer. Sorry, class. Okay. Get it to go, teacher. Okay, here I am again. Now, Aminda, say hello again. I'm sorry. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, good. Hello. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, good. So let's continue with the presentation. I'm sorry, class. Excuse me for my technical problem. Now, okay, good. So Vanessa Noemi, again. What what okay. can you do to increase your 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 intelligence. For me, the best way to increase your intelligence is to learn by yourself. So, for example, I see videos on the internet, I participate in webinars, or ah. looking for every, every, or every topic that I, I think that I need to to increase my my experience and okay. some topic in specific. And Vanessa, so, those webinars are about your area of working. For me, 
and uh, from the, the industry because I actually am working on analyzing information. So I participate in webinars about industry or costs of product, marketing, so topics like that. Okay. So good ideas. I like that, right? Not only in the area of working, but some topics that you're interested, right? In internet, like Vanessa said, right? In some webinar, right? Yeah, okay. Now, next question. In your opinion, let's say, Wendy, welcome, Wendy. Why are some people more intelligent than others? Um, Why? In what, my what opinion, okay. In my opinion, it depends on familiar factors and environmental factors because it's not the same uh, ch a child that uh, born in a family that have uh, the, all, the, all the kind of food or if we compare that child with another child that is poor because uh, for our intelligence, the, our brain need vitamins, need um, that need that we have um, very good. Uh, I don't know how to say. A feeding habits. Uh, habits. Eating habits. habits. Uh, habits. Alimentitious. Uh -huh. Eating habits. Eating habits. Good eating mm. habits for a developer brain in a correct way. I good. Think. So you think that the way people eat or the the way people are healthy or not healthy, it helps to be intelligent, right? Yes, it, okay, it, is, a, it is an important factor, I good. think. It's one factor that is important. I agree, Wendy, I agree yeah. with you. Aminda, yeah. what do you say? I think that that is a, that exists a different type of intelligence. Okay. Yeah, it's not, for example, uh, for example, is one person obtained a good results in studies or, or when or when studied, is academic intelligence, but I have different intelligence. I okay. think. Mechanic, for example. Mechanic, uh, uh, huh? emotional yeah. intelligence, and to so devise and two type, for example, in in intrapersonal. I have to say mm -hmm. intrapersonal. Intrapersonal, yes, in English, the same intrapersonal. Uh, intrapersonal and the uh, extrapersonal extra to do uh -huh. the relationship with the other persons. I know. Okay, interesting. Really interesting. I totally agree. And you know what? I mean that one of the intelligence. Well, I consider I have is the the location intelligence, right? Mm -hmm. Is that when you are in a place, in a commercial center, or in a town, or in a city, you can find the places easily, right? You can go here, there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm, so, okay. Uh huh. And that is one intelligence, right? Yeah. The people who drive Ubers or taxis most have this intelligence, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Good. Good ideas. Okay. Okay. Now, does intelligence run or function or, or, or let's say exist in your family? Trini, what do you think? Does intelligence run in your family? Okay, I, I, I think Trini has some trouble with the internet. Okay, I will, I will pass the attendance, please. Uh, remember to turn on your cameras, please. I need all the cameras on, please. Thank you very much to help me. Good. Now let's start with what well, Trini was there. Uh, Aminda. Present. Ana Maria. Carlos. Claudia Guadalupe, tenía problemas con internet, me dijo, pero no sé si ya se conectó, me manda el mensaje, Claudia. Ok, eh, Domingo. Present. Good, thank you. Eh, Ever. Present. José Roberto. Present. Hey, welcome, José Roberto. Everything is okay? Todo está bien, José Roberto. Yes, teacher. Ok, good. No lo veo thank en la you. cámara. Si ¿Sí puede encenderla. 
Eh, no, teacher, I can't. You cannot. Ah, oh, ok. Se le va a ir el internet, va. Uh, pero si puede encenderlo otro ratito, please, José Roberto. And welcome. Bueno, qué bueno tenerlo otra vez por acá. Carla Benazir. Hoy no me ha mandado mensaje, Carla. Bueno. Eh, Carla Vanessa. Ok. Good. Nice to have you in my class, Carla Vanessa. Laisley. Leticia. Leticia Guadalupe. Mariano. Present teacher. Ok, welcome Mariano. Eh, tiene, ok, good. Tiene encendida la cámara, ¿verdad Mariano? Yes. Ah, good, good. Ya, ya lo vi, sí, sí. Thank you. And Oscar Arnulfo. I'm here. Good. Rosemary. Rosibel. Rosibel. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Sonia Ibet. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemi. Present teacher. Walter. Walter. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Karina. Present. Thank you, Wendy. Vicky. Miriam. Chamba. Present, mister. Good, thank you. Debbie. Debbie. Okay. And Jorge Alfredo. Present, teacher. Good, welcome, Jorge. Thank you. Jorge, eh, me lo ha incluido en la, en la, en la plataforma. Porque he estado sí, revisando y no, no aparece en el listado. No sé si... Si ya lo, ya lo añadieron. Fíjese que la verdad no sé, teacher. Vale, voy a volver a mandar mensaje ahí para que lo incorpore, okay. porque si he estado revisando la plataforma y no me aparece su nombre ahí, fíjese. Voy a volver a mandar ahí para que lo, lo incorporen, oiga. Ok, okay good. Gracias. Good, let's continue. So, now, let's... Let's go to the next, right? Uh, we were saying this, that's intelligent run. Sorry, uh, ya me perdí. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, who's going to help me? Alguien que no haya participado. Chamba, please. Chamba, does intelligent run in, in, in the family, in your family? Yes, in yes. all family run. Oh, but nice. Can you tell me but some the, examples of some family members besides you, of course? <laughs> <laughs> and besides my, Chambita, too, right? I know the guy is really intelligent. My, my son has a uh, music intelligence oh. and my wife, too. That's what Vanessa was saying, right? That there, there are many kind of intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yes. And, and any other member of your family that is intelligent? My father. Oh. My father. Your father is My father is very intelligent because read, read books, a lot of books. Okay. It helps. It helps. To yes. read books helps a lot, right? To increase yes. intelligence, right? For the me for, for memory. For the memory. And Domingo, for example, was saying that uh, if you have a good memory, you also are very intelligent, right? Yes. Nice. Good idea. Yes. Thank you, Chamba. You're welcome, and, mister. Okay. Jorge Alfredo. Jorge. Okay, Jorge. Does the school make a person more intelligent, yes or no? School. Uh, here, here's the question. Look, does school make a person more intelligent? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Nice, I totally agree. I totally agree, right? If you go to school, you are more intelligent, of course, yes. Now, this question is very complicated, right? I see Carlos is already in the class. 
So Carlos, uh, welcome. Uh, listen, this question is for you, Carlos. Okay. Will scientists create um, artificial intelligence that is greater than our intelligence? Yes or no? <laughs> Difficult, right? I, yes. I think yes. Yes. Well, be, be, because they at are the moment, have... Carlos, I always say that the cell phone, but it's true. I mean, we have yeah. a lot of intelligence here, right? No, but the problem yes. is, and the question is, right? I don't know if you <laughs> if you saw the, the movie Terminator, but <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> So some people believe in this case, Carlos is included in this case, right? That in the future, scientists will create machines that are more intelligent than, than we human, right? Okay. Anybody else? Walter Omar, what do you think? Do you agree with Carlos? Yes or no? Hello, teacher. Um... Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Uh, I artificial intelligence for different kinds of intelligence. Yes, this is greater than the our intelligence. For example, for for obtain numerical results, oh. statistics, but the more differences between between our artificial intelligence and art is the emo emotional part. The emotional part in, in art is difficult to copy for the machine. Okay, I totally agree with you, right? Yes, emotions are going to be forever for human, right? But you know, a GPS, uh, the recognition of your face for machines, right? Um, uh, the recognition of your voice for machines, uh, machines that play chess, you know, address better than human, right? Yes. Uh -huh. yes and, and... All of them are amazing, amazing. Okay. Amazing things. Good. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, in the movie Inteligencia Artificial. Ah, yes, Artificial. yes. I remember <laughs> that movie. Nice. Uh, uh, hey, futuro. It's the future, yes. But uh -huh. we don't know. I don't know if, if, I, if I tell you last time, right? I was, I was thinking that when, when I was young, ooh, long time ago, when I was young, I, I used to read in La Prensa Gráfica uh, a comic named Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy was a detective, right? And Dick Tracy had a, 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 a watch. He had a watch and he could speak with people in the watch. Hello, how are you, you know? And you see like a small television, right? Imagine in 1977, right? 1977, I remember I, I, I used to read that, the comics, and I said, no, it's impossible. It's impossible that you can communicate with a, with a watch. It's only imagination. I remember, I remember I thought that, right? But now I see watches that you can communicate with people, right? And you see the, pit, the, the video in your hand, right? Yeah, so it's, that's it, right? So we don't know, we don't know, but I think it's possible, right? Now, next, next question, this is, Complicated too, but let me see. Uh, is there a link between intelligence, creativeness, and humor? Están unidos, you know, is there a link between intelligence, creativeness, and humor? Uh, Carla Vanessa, what do you think? Tell me your opinion, please. This is a difficult one. Uh, well, I think that you can be intelligent, uh -huh. but you can be, uh, you can have bad humor, or you can be uh, creative, 
creative. Uh -huh. And also have bad humor. And, and I don't know. Okay, you, you say, well, let, let me let me think, say that, well, interpret what you say, right? That it's possible that they can be connected, but not all the time, right? Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, I don't know if you know someone like this, uh, Carla, uh, that is very intelligent, but sometimes they, they have bad humor. For example, I have a, a co-worker, his name is Roger. Roger is really, really intelligent. You know, he has, for mathematics and computer, the guy is, come on, cool. Everybody looks, uh, I have a problem, ask Roger, teacher Roger, he, and he's really good, right? But sometimes I say, hey, hello, teacher Roger, hello. Hey, hello, hello, he said. But sometimes, hello, teacher Roger, and like this, right? So. I mean, he is bipolar, he is bipolar. So he's very intelligent, but his humor, you know, is, is not connected, I mean, it's, yeah. And uh, yeah. there are some, uh-huh. There is a, an example that I want to tell you. Come on, please. Uh, there please. is an actor uh, named Ezra Miller. Uh-huh. That is uh, Flash. Flash. Yeah, Flash in the DC universe and he has a bad humor. Oh, I really? mean, terrific. <laughs> but he's very intelligent. But he is creative in in her in her way. Okay. I understand Carla. Okay, so and and well according to the history, right? According to the history, uh, for example, Albert Einstein, uh, Javier Beethoven, no Javier, sorry, uh, Wolfgang Beethoven, right? They were really eccentric and bipolar, right? And, and, and they were very, I mean, they were genius, right? So I guess there is a connection, but uh, for me, for me, in my special way to see the thing is that intelligence is more con connected to creativeness, right? People who are creative, they are really intelligent too, right? But the humor is not connected in my opinion, right? Okay, good. Now, let me see. Uh, Carlos, another question for you. Does intelligence make people more attractive? For example, you see a woman, right? And the woman is graduated from the university. Uh, this woman is, um, have solution. She has solution for all the problems in the office. She knows about pol politics, economy, geography, sociology, et cetera, et cetera. Geology, biology. <laughs> you know, the girl is a whiz, right? Yeah. Is this woman attractive for you, Carlos? Yes or no? Yes, I, I, I think the, the people more intelligent is more attractive. Oh, because right. the, the, the people more intelligent have more, more topic for conversation. Ah, and wait, Carlos. The, the, now I understand why my wife got married with me. Now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, Carlos. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Wendy, what about you? What do you think? If you see a guy that is really, really intelligent, so you, you, uh, you are attracted to this guy. Uh, sorry, yes. Wendy, you, you're not married, right? No, no. No, no. I'm oh. single. Okay, good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> good. So, okay. Yes. Do you feel? For me, you... the answer. For me, the answer is yes. Yes. Okay. Intelligence make people more attractive. Okay, the people thing. who who knows, who have a lot of knowledge, who are intelligent, are attractive, yes. Uh, yes, yeah, of course. They, they say this word, right? They say, uh, uh, no hay bonito sin defecto y no hay feo sin, sin virtud, I guess it's, I heard that. <laughs> Something like that, right? But, but the idea is that we, we men that are on to have a hope, right? Todavía tenemos una esperanza. <laughs> Okay, Mariano, this question. 
Does speaking English make you more intelligent than a friend who cannot speak? No, teacher. No. I think no. No. You think, it's well, not... in general, languages don't make uh, you more intelligent? I know the different language. Uh, ¿Cómo sería estimular o stimulate stimulate Stimul stimulate the, the brain's areas but I don't think so is more okay, you don't than another for example Shakira Shakira speaks nine languages yes yeah, but uh, uh, do you think she's know. more intelligent than, than other people yes or no what do you think Shakira is more intelligent because she speaks nine languages? No, teacher. No, no, no. You don't. No, it's more in, because the intelligence is relative. The the different okay. people are intelligent in different areas. Areas. I understand. Uh, Shakira speaks nine language, but I don't know Shakira know to. Uh, how to repair a computer, table. for example, right? Yes, or, or mathematics or science. Okay. Okay, good. Nice. Very good. Roberto, I can see you now. Very good. Good. Now, please, give us your commentary, Robert. So, do you think speaking English make you more intelligent than, than other people? Yes or no? Well... I think yes. Yes. Because okay. the, the people uh, um, um, develop, develop all other capacities and mm -hmm. other um, areas. I, I think yes. Yes. Good. Uh, thank you, Lord. Now, this is not in the, in the question, but you know, Music, well, in the in the case of Chamba, right? Uh, Chambita Junior is good with music, right? He's intelligent. So you think languages, music, mathematics, and other other areas can stimulate the intelligence? Yes or no? Opinions, opinions to finish this discussion. <laughs> With the question, teacher, please. Uh huh. In your opinion, the question, the question is: I can hear the music, the mathematics, the languages. Can it help you to stimulate intelligence? Yes or no? I think yes. Yeah. Right. Yes, okay. teacher. Uh, in, in my opinion, the. The, uh, uh, the music is the, the people, the music, the, uh, the, the, you know, the creative uh, or, or the quality of the person is the result, the result, I say, but result, result, the, the intelligence. Okay. So, in, what I understand that you're saying, uh, Domingo, is that. If you, if you have all these situations like music, mathematics, right? Uh, the result is that you're going to be more intelligent, right? Yes? Yeah. Okay, Walter, please. So, some people born intelligent mm -hmm. and another not, but Depends on the discipline we can improve improve our intelligence. Okay. It depends on the area, area right? For example, uh, if you are an accountant, for example, I'm not good with numbers, right? I am bad with numbers. I can speak English, right? not very well. <laughs> not sure. not with English, but, you know, I understand everything. So, but if I go to numbers and if I want to fix a computer and 
or if I want to, to work with programs, you know, technical problems, you know, <laughs> I'm not good with computers in general, right? So, but I consider I am good with languages because I understand, you know, so it depends on there, right? Mariano, please. Sure, for example, I remember to read in Twitter, I, I don't know, uh, the, for example, uh, a football player, Frank Lampard, the EQ is similar to Albert Einstein EQ, but in different areas now. Uh -huh. uh, okay. okay, I agree. For example. Yes. So, yes, yes, it, and the people, it more information that it depends on the area, right? Yes, yes. And, and the people think Albert Einstein is a genius and really, yes, but uh, another person have a different abilities and knowledge and I don't know yeah. capacities. Okay, so now I remember me in school, right? When some classmates used to be bad in mathematics, people say so dundo, right? So dundo, they say, right? But no, it's not totally true. I mean. They cannot be good in mathematics, but they can be good in biology or in languages or in social studies or in geography, right? Or in music, et cetera, et cetera, right? Also, we have kinesthetical uh, intelligence, right? People who, is, who have ability to do things, right? It's also considered part of the intelligence, right? Okay, class, thank you very much. Tomorrow, we are going to continue with the second part of this topic. Tomorrow, right, we're going to discuss some interesting questions about intelligence. But for the moment, let's start with the class for today, right? Unit two, marketing, right? Uh, Mariano, can you read the objective for tonight? Okay, marketing. Unit two, marketing. I will be able to recognize the component of the pl place and promotion strategies of a famous national product or service. Mariano, good pronunciation, strategies, nice. So in this case, thank you, thank you, Mariano. So we have two thank components, you. right? Remember we have the four P's, product, price, place, or distribution, right? And promotion, the four P's. So today we're going to continue uh, discussing a little bit more about this, right? And to learn this, some of you are kind of bored with this topic, <laughs> but we are going to continue. Today, don't worry, we're going to make just one exercise and, and that's all, right? I won't punish you with <laughs> too much uh, exercises, too many exercises, sorry, um, with this topic. Yeah, remember that last time we were talking about the enough it's a word that it can be identified with adverse or an adjective, right? But also can be used to care before and now, right? So tonight we're going to learn this. For example, let's go to the first example, please. Uh, Carlos, can you read the first example for me? Yes. The company does not have enough information about the customers to understand their needs. Okay. Uh, what is information, class, in this context? Is a preposition, is a noun, is an adjective, is a adverb, is a conjunction. What is information in this context? What is the function of the word information? It's a noun. It's a noun. It's a noun. Very good, Wendy. It's a noun, right? And it's a common or a proper noun? It's a common. It's a common, right? Abstract or concrete? Abstract or concrete? It's not important, but I want I want to know <laughs> if it is abstract or concrete. What do you think? Sorry? Abstract. Abstract, correct, right? Very good. So next question, please. Uh, Rosibel, can you read the next, please? 
uh, we design an old promotion to create a short term increase in sales. Thank you. So promotions. Promotion. Promotion, right. Promotion is singular or plural, class? Plural. Plural, right. So it means that when we can use and no with countable and no countable now, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, Rosibel. Oscar, eh, how is your internet, Oscar? ¿Cómo, cómo está el internet? ¿Ya mejoró? More or less, more or less. Yes, okay, good, please. Next, next sentence, please, Oscar. It's a strategy may be used to distribute an old product. Good, thank you very much. Now, uh, Carla Vanessa, oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Carla Vanessa, help me, please. Next sentence. The store needs to sell enough items to continue in business. Okay, to continue, continue in business. Thank you. Now, uh, Ever, next one, please. There were not enough experts to perform the task. Good, thank you. Now, again, look at the position of the word enough, right? Before the noun, the noun could be uh, after concrete, it could be singular, plural, it could be countable, no conto, right? And the sentence, for example, this sentence is negative. Look, does not have. And the next sentence is affirmative design, right? Okay, we can use this at the beginning or, or at the end of the sentence. Look. The position is not important. The position in the center, but uh, we always have the word enough and then we have the noun, right? Okay, good. This is the introduction. Now we're going to make a little exercise, right? In this exercise, you're going to tell me if it is uh, a fit negative or positive, right? But I will take the attendance again. So Trini, Trini. Okay. Um, yes, teacher. Okay, good. Thank you, Trini. Aminda. Present. Good. Ana Maria. Present. Oh, welcome, Ana Maria. Hola, teacher. Hello, welcome. Uh, Carlos. Present. Claudia Guadalupe, no sé si ya le cayó el internet. No, creo que no, porque ella siempre ha estado oyente, va, no nos, no nos ha tirado el mensaje. Bueno, eh, Domingo. Sí. Domingo. Ever. Ever. Present, Mr. Jose Roberto. Present, teacher. Good, thank you. Carla Benazir. Carla Vanessa. Present. Good. Laisley. Leticia. Mariano. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Rosemary. Rosibel. Present teacher. Sonia Yvette. Present. Good. Vanessa. Present. Noemi. Walter Present. Omar. Present. Good. Wendy. Present. Vicky. Miriam, Chamba. Present, mister. Good. Debbie, Jorge Alfredo. Present, teacher. Good, thank you, Jorge. Good, that's it, right? Now let's go to this exercise. Oh, well, wait a minute, I have a message. Ah, Claudia, okay. Good. Yeah, thank you, Claudia Guadalupe. I got it.
Porque aquí le pusimos la asistencia, Claudia Guadalupe. Ok, thank you. Now, negative or positive, right? Good. So this is the exercise for tonight. Let me see. I'm going to escape here. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Por ahí creo. Por ahí. Okay, good. Let's start with the first one, right? And um, I'm going to start with Trini. Trini, please. Uh, we have here the sentence, right? And we are going to use the word enough, right? But uh, it's very difficult, right? Because you have to understand if the context is negative or positive, right? For example, when you want to do your homework, right? The question is, do you need time to make homework or not? Trini, what do you think? Do we need time to make homework, yes, yes. or no? Yes. Yes, we need time, right? Okay, so in this case, we have the, the, the verb need, okay? So, because uh, Trini said that we need time, so it's positive or negative. Um, Aminda, what do you think? Is positive or negative? Positive. Positive, right? So in this case, we're going to write they need. Okay, then what is time? Ana Maria, what is time? It's a it's a verb, it's a noun, it's a preposition, it's an adjective. What is time in this context, Ana Maria? Uh, which one? I'm sorry. Sorry, repeat. It is ready here. Sorry, teacher. Okay, I will repeat the question. The word yeah. time, time in this context, time. It's a preposition, it's a noun, it's an adjective. What is time? An adjective? Adjective. Mm. Yes, I think. Mm. Okay, I will give you two options, right? It's noun. It's a noun, right? Okay, good. It's uh -huh. a noun. Good. So according to the exercise, in this case, I need um, Carlos, please. Carlos. Yes. Are we going to copy enough before time or after time? They need enough time after. Okay, so in this case, it's before, right? Yeah, I think it's before. <laughs> <laughs> because you say after. Good, so. Teacher. Yeah, yes. Your camera is off. My camera is off. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't understand. No sé por qué me lo... ¿En qué consistirá esto de que me lo apague? Quizás porque no... I don't know, sorry. I... Anyway, and thank you, thank you very much. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, they need enough time to do the homework, right? Good. Now, with this information, eh, Domingo, please, let's go to number two. Public schools. Is positive or is negative? For me, it's positive. It's positive, okay. Yeah. So in this case yeah. is, we have, we have uh, enough public, public, school. public, school, school, thank you. School. Okay, now let's analyze, right? Let's analyze, Domingo. Is it, true? Is, negative. Is it true that we have enough okay. public schools? Let's say in El Salvador, right? Do we have enough public schools in El Salvador? Yes or no? Mm. Hay suficientes escuelas públicas? 
Uh, Domingo? Uh, depend. <laughs> uh, okay. in, 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 in my country, in my country, uh, oh, in Salvador, no. No, right? Uh -huh. Ah, no, it's, right? It's negative. So it's, it's negative. negative. Very good. So it's negative. Okay. In this case, is we don't, don't have, right? Because uh, it's simple present. We don't uh -huh. have enough public school, right? Yes. Okay. We have a lot, right? But we need more, especially in the country, right? In the city, maybe, maybe. But because we have a lot of private school, right? Maybe that's the reason. Uh, but if we don't, we didn't have a private schools, si no tuviéramos escuelas privadas o colegios, right? Maybe we have problems. But in the country, yes, they need more public school. Thank you very much. Okay, with this information, Ever. I'm sure you can make number three, Ever. Only you, right? Tell me, tell me. Only you. Okay, for me, the sentence is negative. Negative, okay, please, tell yes. me the sentence. Bye, this, this neighborhood is dangerous. There aren't be. There aren't or there isn't? There. There aren't. No, there aren't because police officers and uh, There aren't. Yes, it's correct. There aren't. There aren't be enough police officers. There aren't enough PNC, right? Police officers. Oops. There aren't enough police officers. Very good. And again, look, enough goes before the noun. And the noun can be a compound noun. Look, este es un nombre compuesto, right? Police officers. Also, this public schools, you know, it's a compound noun, yeah? Okay, so it's possible to make a noun. Number four, please. Uh, Jose Roberto, help me with number four. Okay. Uh, Affirmative or negative? Negative or positive, Roberto? Um, well, it depends. <laughs> I think it's negative. Negative, okay. Yeah. There, so are, we, a, there a, are a lot of cars. We, we don't, have don't have nice enough parking. My goodness, Roberto, very good. Yes. Excelentoso. Yes, okay, number five, please. Uh, Carla Vanessa. Okay. Uh, the city have enough cars? Okay, wait, Carla Vanessa. How or has? Has. The has. city has. Mm -hmm. The city has enough cars? To pollute, to right? Okay. Uh, grammatically is positive, right? But the meaning is negative. Why? Because cars are destroying the environment, right? Yeah. It's not something good, <laughs> of course. But grammatically is, is positive, right, Carla Vanessa? Do you agree? Yes. Yes, okay. Thank you. Good, good. Thank you. Good participation. Number six, please. Uh, uh, Mariano, please. Number six. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. We have enough accidents by now. I like your logic, Mariano. We have enough accidents. Yes, especially in Los Chorros. Yes. Yes, in... <laughs> In what else in El Carretera Santana, right? Road to Santana. Oh, very common. We have accident. Next to Pico. Ooh. Every day, right? So we have enough accidents by now. Yes. Thank you, Mariano. 
Now, uh, Oscar, number seven, please. Oscar. Hello, hello. Hello, Oscar. Can you participate? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Try, try. Si no, uh, vamos a poner ahí a que nos ayude Walter. <laughs> okay, Oscar, come on. Try. Uh, okay. Ver to be, ver to be is, is, are, isn't, aren't, wasn't, there are recycling and now. Okay, uh, there, there, are. there, are. there are. Yes. Okay, good. Recycling and now in our city. Okay, recycling enough or enough recycling, Oscar? For me, recycling, no. Recycling, okay. Good. In our city, said, right? There are recycling. No, hay suficiente reciclado en nuestra ciudad. Mm. Okay. Um, are you sure, Oscar, that we have enough recycling or, or not? Mm. Uh, Se recicla uh, lo suficiente en la ciudad de El Salvador? So that's the question, right? Yes or no? <laughs> In the server, no. No, right? Okay, so there are, right? Thank you. Okay. Good. Thank you, Oscar. Now, Walter, please. Uh, there is still something to fix in this center, right? What is the problem, huh? Walter? The number seven. Yeah, number seven, still. I think is there the reason. Ah, the reason. Okay, good. So I was bad, right? Because I say aren't it? Yeah, okay. The reason, what else? Recycling enough or enough recycling? The reason recycling enough. Okay, let's go to, to, to this, right? Enough promotions, enough information. Enough item, enough experts. So we have first the enough, and then we have the now, right? Now let's go to this. What is the now here? The reason enough recycle. Okay, good. And now recycle. Thank you. So thank you, Walter. Thank you, Oscar. What's number seven, right? Now let's go to uh, number eight. Uh, let me see. Uh, Rosemary, no, Rosemary, no, está. Rosibel, please help me with number number eight. Uh, the government uh, to. Should, uh, should right? Let's start with should. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, Rosette. The government should. Should and no bully. bully. Mm -hmm. This is very difficult, Rosette, because we have three, right? Aquí yeah. Tenemos tres. Should build. Build and no. Should build. Okay, should build. 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 Enough. And no. Affordable. Affordable. Housing. housing. Affordable. Housing, right? Okay. Eh, it's impossible, but who knows? Mm. That's the idea, right? Mm. The government should build enough affordable housing. 
Okay, nice. That was difficult, Rosibel. Congratulations, right? Now, number nine. Thank you. Uh, let me see, Rosibel. Yvette, please. Yvette. Number oh. nine, Yvette. San Salvador. Uh, how? Have not no. and now has San Salvador has mm -hmm. has not has enough has enough uh, bicycle lanes bicycle lanes right lanes lanes it has not hasn't a uh, hasn't negative right negative negative Yes. San Salvador hasn't. Okay, but wait a minute. Hasn't is present perfect, right? Yes or no? I guess this is simple present, right? Yvette, okay. simple present. So what is the negative for, for simple present? Hmm. Student hasn't, aren't, don't, doesn't. What is the correct one? In negative. Simple present. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. So, thank you. Uh, anybody who, who, who can help me, please? Alguien que nos ayude? Doesn't have. Sorry, repeat. Does. 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 Doesn't. Has. Like this? Have. Have. Okay, very good. Thank you. San Salvador doesn't have no bicycle lanes. Lane, lanes, I guess. Uh huh. What is what? lanes, teacher? Sorry? Lineas. Uh huh. Lanes? Lineas. 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 O, o carriles. Carriles. Ah, okay. Yes. So, no, right? Not enough. Okay. Good. And the last one, please, number 10. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. Vanessa, uh, no, Vanessa, no, I mean, no, already participate, right? Vamos a darle a chance mejor. Oh. Wendy, Wendy, yes, number 10, Wendy. Okay, for me, this is negative. Negative or affirmative, Wendy? For me, it's negative. Negative, so? Um, okay. There aren't. There aren't enough Wi-Fi hotspots. Mm -hmm. Why? Why hotspots, right? So, punto de. Uh, what would be the translation? What would be the translation of hot translation of hotspot? Let me see. Translation is. Como punto de distribución, right? The, the Wi-Fi. Yes. Okay, good. Any question? Any question so far? No questions? So let's practice pronunciation, please. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Microphones off, please. They need enough time to do the homework. We don't have enough public schools. This neighborhood is dangerous. There aren't enough police officers. There are a lot of cars. We don't have enough parking. The city has enough cars to pollute the environment. Stop it. We have enough accidents by now.
Oops, sorry, sorry. There isn't enough recycling in our city. The government should build enough affordable housing. The government should build enough affordable housing. San Salvador doesn't have enough bicycle lanes. San Salvador doesn't have enough bicycle lanes. Let me check pronunciation of lanes. Okay. Lane. Lane is correct. Uh -huh. Lane, lineas, carriles, right? Good. Now, there aren't enough. There aren't enough Wi Fi hotspots. There aren't enough Wi Fi hotspots. Let me find out. Permítame que me quedo con la duda. Let me see. Punto de distribución, is it right? The Wi-Fi, okay? Let me see. Okay, good. Now, any extra question? Good. Now let's go to uh, this vocabulary. Remember we are in two P's, right? The place and the promotion. So this vocabulary is related with uh, the place and the promotion, right? The place and the promotion of the products, right? Now, advertising. What is advertising? Advertising is a form of marketing that employs an openly sponsored message to promote or to sell a product, right? Okay. Personal sales. Personal sales is sales interaction between the firm's representative and a consumer on one-to-one -one basis. So in, in other words, a firm representative is vendor, right? Salesperson, it's a vendedor, you know? And the, this person goes, and this person go to, to the consumer directly, face to face, right? One to one basis, okay? So it's salesman or salesperson, consumer, right? Together, that is personal sales. Sales promotion. Promotion designed to create a short-term increase in sales. But the idea is to sell the product, right? Sponsor. Sponsor is a person or organization that provides funds for an activity carried out by another. For example, one common example is the, uh, the football team, right? In El Salvador, let's say uh, Pirpo, Alianza, FAS, uh, Aguila, right? And they have some sponsors. For example, in the case of Alianza, I know is Pan uh, Sinaí, for example, right? In, in Aguila is Canal 4, I suppose. Yes, Canal 4. So it's, a, it's a sponsor, you know? It's an organization that provides funds, give money, right? To carry out one activity by another person, in this case, by another institution, right? Okay, public relationship. Building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public, right? 
the company, the newspapers, the radio, the internet, the um, the billboards, you know, los, los carteles en la calle, you know, the billboards and, and the public, the consumer, right? Okay, now, let's read again, please. Let's read again. Volunteers, help me please to read again what is advertising. Volunteers. Only one, please, only one. Who wants to read again for me? Okay, I will, I will. Sorry, I'm sorry. Me fui a vagar por un segundo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will share that. But again, this. Look. Internet. <laughs> yeah, internet is, you know, I have three students. Tengo tres de ustedes que no se han podido conectar. Por aquí me están mandando mensajes que no le ha funcionado el internet. Yes. Sorry, guys. Ya ven que hasta yo tengo problemas. Yes. Okay, good. Who wants to read for me? Vanessa? Vanessa, no me? Yes. Please, read. That your camera is off. My camera is off. My goodness. Yes. Oh, I hate that. Sorry. Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> read, please. Thank you. Thank you. Advertising, a form or of marketing that employs an openly sponsored message to prom prom promote. Promote? Promote. How do you say it? Promote. 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 Promote or sell a product. Good. Any question, class, about this vocabulary? No teacher. No questions. Teacher, sponsor, sponsor. Sponsor is a sponsor. A sponsor is a person who promotes your product, right? Is in Spanish is a, sorry, I forgot the word. <laughs> sorry, it se me da una laguna mental. In Spanish is patrocinador. 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 Yeah, thank you. Patrocinador. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Is the one who gives the money uh, to promote one activity, right? And like I say, right? In Real Madrid, it's, uh, well, in Barcelona, it's Nike. Nike is the sponsor of Barcelona. You know, they have Nike here, right? So Nike is a sponsor, it's a patrocinador, right? The one who gives money. Uh, you see that sometimes in the programs, they say, le damos gracias a nuestros patrocinadores, you know, those are the sponsors, right? Good. Any other question? Good, let's continue, right? Personal sales. Anybody who help, who help me to read, please? A reader, please, a reader. Okay, thank you, Rosibel. Personal sales. Sales interactions between the firm's representative and a consumer one a one to one basis. Okay, good. So is that the person goes personally to sell the product, right? To the consumer. Any question? Please, if you don't understand, tell me. Vocabulary, meaning. Remember this vocabulary related to the other four P's that is placement or place, right? And promotion. Let's go to the next one. So, sales promotion. Another reader, please. Another reader. Me, teacher. Yes, come on, madam. Uh, sales promotion. 
promotions increase in sales? Design. Again, please. Sorry, man. Creo que él también está fallando un poquito el internet. Eh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Ya me perdí. Sorry. Give me a second, Mariano. Sales promotion, right? Mariano, again, please. Again. Sales promotion. Promotion designed to create a short term increase in sales. Good. Short term, you know? It's not all the time, you know? Not all the time. The most common is two by yes. one, right? Two by one. Llévese un champú y el otro gratis. <laughs> or maybe uh, buy a pair of shoes and the other pair of shoes is half of the price. Half of the price, right? So, but it's not all the time. It's a short term, term right? Short time. And it helps you to increase the sale, right? Yes. Buy one choripan and take another one. <laughs> no, right? Choripanes nunca tienen ofertas. <laughs> Okay, good. Next one, please. Volunteers, please. A sponsor. Domingo was asking about this, right? Sponsor, patrocinador. Who wants to help me? Me, teacher. Yes, Trini? Read, please. Sponsor. A person organization that provides funds for an activity carried out by another. Good. Yeah, thank you, right? So they give the money to promote the activity that a lot of person is developing, right? Uh, and, and making, you know, so it's, that is the point, right? Do you understand any question? Okay, good. If no question, let's go to the next one. Public relationship. Volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Public relationship. Building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public. Good. Thank you, Carlos. Now, questions? Do you understand? Good. It's time to work. We finished the presentation. No more blah, blah, blah. So you're going to work, right? Let's go to the manual. Please open your manuals. We're going to work on page 23, page 23, right? It says, look at the examples in the box. Let's go, how to use and know with nouns. Last time we were learning about to use nouns uh, and not with, with adjectives. And today we're going to learn how to use enough with now, right? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to work. It says, complete the sentences using the information in parentheses and enough. So here we have create, that is the verb, right? Interest, that is the noun, okay? Offer is the verb. Features and benefits, the noun. Demand is the verb. Channels of distribution is the noun. Stock is the verb. Goods and sell them. No goods only, right? Only goods is the, the noun, right? Okay. And sell is another verb. I can press it verb, but it's not, we're not going to use enough here, right? And lack, and then information of the competition is the now, right? Okay, class, I will give you, what? Five minutes to complete this in your notebook, right? Five minutes. Okay, it's time to work. Please make your answers in your notebooks. Make your answers in your notebook, please.
If you have questions, please raise your hands, right? I can help you. I am here. I am answering the, in the WhatsApp, right? Le estoy respondiendo a algunos chicos ahí en el WhatsApp. Ready? Or more time? Okay, continue, please continue working.
Okay, time is over, right? Now let's start with number one, right? I will ask some volunteers, my volunteers. Let me see. Mm -hmm. So Chamba, please, can you help me Chamba with number one? Sorry, the marketing department hasn't. Chamba. Okay, Jorge Alfredo, can you help me Jorge Alfredo? What is it, right? So Trini, please, Trini, help me. The marketing department hasn't created enough interest. Hasn't created, right? Because it's present perfect, enough interest. Class, copy, please. Copiemosle a Trini, please. Congratulations. Wait, wait a minute, Trini. Okie dokie. Very good. The marketing department hasn't created enough interest. Enough interest, right? Good. Number ED two. ED at the end, teacher. Sorry, created, yes. ED. ED. Okay. Uh huh. Hasn't created enough interest. Okay, good. Aminda, please. Number two. Your camera is off, teacher. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Vamos a castigar este internet. <laughs> okay. Number two. Okay. Um, our products offer enough features and benefits. My goodness. Very good. Excellent. Also. Okay. Thank you, Minda. Now, uh, Carlos, please. Number three. Okay. The play strategy demanded enough channels of distribution. Okie dokie. Well, I'll repeat one, two, three, right? The market the department hasn't created enough interest. Two or products. Offer, offer, right? Enough features and benefits. And number three, the place strategy demands, demands with S, right? Because it's third person singular, enough channels of distribution, right? Enough channels of distribution. And number four, Number four, um, Domingo, please. Yes. Restrict will stocks uh, in our groups um, sell them. And sell them, right? Good. Retailers, retailers, you know, it's like vendedores al por menor, right? O vendedores, you know. Retailers will stock Stop. enough no, eh, guardar, reservar, estivar, <laughs> you know, eh, enough goods and sell them, right? And number five, listen, lack. Lack is falta de, right? Aquí no entiendo por qué le pusieron lack, pero tiene que ser así. We don't have, we don't have, Enough, porque la quiere decir falta de, ¿no? Sin. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, with this information, we don't have enough. Who can help me, please? Oh, yes, I will ask someone. Carla Vanessa, please. We don't have. Ok. We don't have enough luck. No, no, no. Enough information. Eh, oh, okay. 
Carlita, es que no sé por qué le pusieron lag. Lo que pasa es que lag es sin, so enough. Sí, entonces sería, we don't have enough. Ok, come on, we don't have enough. Enough information. Mm -hmm. On? Uh, on the competition. On the competition, right? Good. Number four, retailers will stock enough goods and sell them. We don't have enough information on the competition. We don't have enough information on the competition, right? Okay, class, any question? Now, you can use enough with adjectives. We can use enough with noun, right? This is the grammar. Questions? Please tell me. No questions. When the, when uh -huh. the enough, when the enough is using with with nouns is after is is first uh, enough after noun. In what number, Rosibel? No, when when we use now. Ah, in general, with, in general. Uh -huh. In general, uh -huh. mm -hmm. it, first is right enough after yes. now. Mm -hmm. Correct, totally correct. First enough and then the now. Look, enough information is a noun. Enough mm -hmm. promotion is a noun. Enough products is the noun. Enough items is the noun, right? Enough experts is the noun, right? Good. Mm -hmm. And remember, Rosibel, that in the adjective was the opposite, right? Mm -hmm. Say good enough, short mm -hmm. enough, fat mm -hmm. enough. The right? Enough of the end. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Correct. For example, okay. can say the teacher is fat enough, right? Teacher ya está suficientemente gordito. <laughs> That's what my, my wife says that, right? I don't know. Right? <laughs> so I have to go on a diet. Fat and no. <laughs> Good. So that's it. Any other question or commentary? I have a question. Oh, Tell me. Okay. When, when you my, choose... uh, Carlos and then Trivi. Uh -huh, Carlos. Yes. When you use the verb, the tense of the verb, in the, this case, enough with a noun, what mm, tense is for verb? Okay, I didn't get it. When you use the verb, repeat, Carlos. And, and what time use the verb? Ah, ah, any time, Carlos, any time. You can use simple present, simple past, present perfect. No, notice this, this is present perfect, look. Here we say, uh, in the example we were working, for example, it should, we use should, we use simple present, don't, doesn't, verb to be, isn't, aren't, it could be in past, wasn't, weren't, right? When? Uh -huh. All the tenses, todos los tiempos, all the tenses. The simple, okay. the, the present tenses, the perfect tenses, the continuous forms, right? All the tenses. Okay, thank you. And, and, and Carlos, also the position, look. It's not yes. necessarily immediately after the verb, right? The position can change. It could be a neg negative sentence or positive, right? But the most important oh. is remember, remember, like Rosibel says, first is enough and then the noun, right? That's the most important part you, you have to understand. Well, thank you for your question, Carlos. Interesting question. Anybody else? Ah, Trini, Trini, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me, Trini. Sorry. <laughs> your question, no Trini. Offer queda así como está? Uh -huh. offer. Oh, or products, it says. Or products offer, nuestros productos ofrecen, right? Because offer is simple present. 
no auxiliary, no negative, no, no change. So you say, our products offer okay. enough features and benefits. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's go to the next book, uh, vocabulary building, right? Building vocabulary. <laughs> building vocabulary. Okay, it says, match the words or expressions to their meanings. Compare your answers with a partner, right? Okay. Um, before we go to this, right? I have uh, one of my students asked me today a riddle, you know? Riddle is una adivinanza, right? A riddle. And say, when, um, let me, let me, let me remind. Um, oh, yes. When a horse finished to be a horse. Cuando un caballo deja de ser un caballo. That is the question, right? When a horse finished to be a horse. When? When there are two horses. <laughs> My goodness, who said that? Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa. come on, Vanessa. Ya se la podía. <laughs> no, teacher. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, no. good. Yeah. So you're, you see, you're using your intelligence, right? Yes. Un caballo deja de ser un caballo cuando llega otro caballo, you know? When another horse comes, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now let's go to, to this, right? Advertising. What is advertising? Uh, volunteers, please raise your hands. Participation. This is not related with horses. <laughs> this is, oh yes, uh, Rosibel, number one, read. advertising. Read, please read. No, advertising is a form, a form of marketing that employees that employees openly, that employees that that employees and openly sponsor message. No, no, wait, wait, Rosibel, sorry. Sponsor. 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 Mm, Sponsor. Message to promote or sell a product. Good. Today, you, you say it very well, right? You say it very well, Rosé. Hoy lo dijo bien. Super bien. Promote. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you, Rosé. Advertising. So that is advertising, right? Advertising is to sell, to promote a, a, a product, right? Promover un producto, venderlo, you know, vender el producto. Anunciarlo y venderlo. Okay, Rosibel, any other question? No. Not, not okay, good, good. Thank you. Now, personal sales. Volunteers, personal sales, sales, sorry. Aha, los acabamos de ver. What, what, what happened? Okay, good. Sonny Bet, please. Personal sales. interaction between the firm's representative and a customer. Consumer? Uh, on a one to one basis. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for the participation of your baby, too, right? Thank you, Yvette. Good. So that's number two, right? Now, number three sales promotion. Sales promotion. Volunteers. Yes, Aminda. Promotions designed to create a short-term increase in sales. Good. Increase, right? The idea is to, to sell your product, especially when your, your product is going down in the sale, right? So you need to promote your your product, right? And I say the most common is two by one, right? Dos por uno, right? <laughs> okay. Next one, right? Sponsor. Sponsor. What is a sponsor? Number four. Ladies and gentlemen, sponsor. Volunteers? It's a person. Uh-huh. Uh, I have two participants. Perdón, ya me confundí, no, no sé. Tengo a Ivette y tengo a Oscar. No, no. Ivette, Ivette, no. 
ओके ओस्कर कमान ओस्कर वो है a person or organization that provide fund for activity career uh, uh, out by another. Carried out by another, right? Carried out by, an, by another. Carry Good, thank you, Oscar. Llevada a cabo, so carry out. Carry out is llevar a cabo, realizar, you know? Carry out. In past, carried out, carried out. Huh? Que ha sido llevada a cabo, que se llevó a cabo por, por otro. Yo pongo el pisto y el otro se la echa. Ok, good. And the last one, public relations. Yes, Vanessa. Go ahead, please. Public relations. Building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public. Okie Uh Talking about this, let me see. Um, Vanessa, creo que hoy le toca la clase personal, Vanessa. Vanessa, no a mí, right? Let me check. Quiero ver la agenda. Lo que pasa es que tengo varios listeners. Ajá, Leisley. Carla Benazir. Sonia. Ah, bueno, con Ivette me tocaría entonces, sí. Y luego Vanessa. Vanessa sería llama. Ivette. Podría ahora, ver es que la veo que está de, está cuidando a la bebé, ¿verdad, Ivet? Yes, he is sick. She's, ajá, I heard. Sí, ya la escuchamos, pobrecita. Ok, entonces, ¿sería mañana o, o me dice cuándo puede, Ivet? No tenga pena. Mañana. Mañana, ok, good. So, Vanessa, Vanessa no de mí. Si ¿Sí podría entonces? Yes. yes, okay, good, thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Now, let's continue. Let me see what time is it. Ooh, only five minutes to finish, right? Okay. Tomorrow we have exposition, right? Tomorrow we have presentation, right? So don't miss the class. No me vayan a fallar a la clase, please. We're going to make a, a, a presentation, right? We're going to choose a product and we're going to practice the four P's. On Wednesday, we're going to have the midterm test. Para el miércoles vamos a hacer el midterm test, right? Así que por favorcito, uh, vayan terminándome la, la plataforma. Ya solo nos quedaríamos con el midterm test. Llegaríamos a la mitad del curso. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? A la mitad del curso ya prácticamente. ¿Ok? Eh, remember the three things. Right? Recuerden los tres requisitos del curso. Número uno, asistir a sus clases. Tener la cámara encendida. Participar en clases. Es parte de su evaluación. Número dos, terminar la plataforma. Sí, incluyendo los exámenes, porque ahorita vamos a hacer el midterm, right? El examen de medio curso para el miércoles. Y por último, eh, la encuesta de satisfacción que llenan al final del curso, ¿verdad? Esos son los tres requisitos. Eh, como les dije la vez pasada, tengo varios listeners. Yo sé que les toca trabajar y estar la, en la clase a la vez. Pero sí, por favorcito, necesito que... que por lo menos un día se escapen del trabajo, ¿verdad? Y me enciendan la cámara y participen. Y disculpas por la internet, que a algunos les ha fallado mucho. A mí también me falla bastante, vean que ahora me sacó, pero ahí estamos. Entonces voy a pasar la asistencia, terminamos la clase ahora y me quedo con Carla Vanessa. ¿Any question, class? ¿Do you have any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre el curso en general? Ahorita tenemos tiempo. Ese examen del término intermedio. Sí, sí. Ese está, ese, lo, hay que hacerlo. En la plataforma. Con usted. No, no, no. O junto con usted. Lo vamos a hacer así, eh, Rosibel. Um, ustedes lo van a terminar en la plataforma. ¿va? Si quieren, es más, yo creo que algunos ya lo hicieron. Pero este, yo lo voy a ir guiando. Eh, dándoles asesoría porque esa es parte del, eh, de la clase 
con el midterm y con el final test, con los dos exámenes, voy así paso por paso, ítem por ítem, ¿verdad? Explicándoles. Eh, porque es, es algo larguito el examen, bueno, ni tanto, pero, pero sí es necesario que, que les dé un, un poquito de asesoría. Entonces, pueden hacerlo de las dos formas, Rosibel, puede hacerlo antes o durante la clase. Ahí usted decide. O después, si quiere también, ¿verdad? Ahí. Eh, la idea es que lo, lo terminen en la plataforma, ¿sí? Esa es la idea. Y, bueno, obviamente no va a sobrar tiempo, Rosibel, el miércoles. Y vamos, vamos a incluir otras actividades ahí de, de práctica. Inclusive, si ustedes quieren sugerir algún tema, ahí estamos a sus órdenes, ¿verdad? Sir, yo sir. <ríe> algún tema Gracias. que les cueste por ahí, podemos incluirlo. Ahí me lo mandan en el WhatsApp. Oigan. Ok, vamos a la asistencia entonces. Let's go to the attendance. Here we go. Are you ready? So, Trini. Trini. Yes, okay. Thank you, Trini. Have a good night. Yes, God bless you. Aminda. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Ana Maria. Present. Good. Thank you. Carlos. Mr. Membreño. Carlos. Present. Okay, good. Thank you, Carlos. Present. God bless you. Have a Present. good night. Claudia. Good night. Claudia. Good night. Good night, good night. Aquí está Claudia. Yes. Ya le funcionó el internet. Sí. Y Ana María. Ya está ahí presente. Okay, good. Claudia. Guadalupe. Okay, good. Thank you. Domingo. Present teacher. Thank you, Ever. Present. Okay. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Jose Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Good Roberto. Night. Estuvo toda la clase. Lo felicito. Thank you. Thank you very much. Eh, okay. Carla Benazir. Okay. Si me manda el mensaje, Carla. No, no, creo que no. No se pudo conectar, Carla. Bueno, ok. Eh, Carla Vanessa. Good. Thank you, Carla. Have a good night. Laisley. Leticia. Present teacher. Oh, good. Se conectó al final. Gracias, Leticia. Have a good night. Sí. Yes. <laughs> ok, Mariano. Mariano. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Oscar. Thank you. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Oscar Anulfo. Good night. Good night. God bless you, Oscar. Thank you. Give me a second. Vamos a. Ahí está. Okay. Permitemos un. Ahí estamos. Okay. Thank you. Eh, Rosemary. Rosibel. Rosibel. Good night. Good, Good night. night. God bless you. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank Sonia you. y Beth. Present. Good. Good night. Have a good night. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Good. No me voy a escapar, Vanessa. <laughs> okay. Walter Omar. Walter. Present. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night, Walter. Wendy, Karina. Present. Have a good night. You too, as well. Uh, Vicky, Miriam, Chamba, Chamba. Okay, Debbie and Jorge Alfredo. Good. Thank you. Have a good night, Jorge. God bless you. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Hello, Vanessa. Hello. Sorry. Sometimes yeah. I. Hello. <laughs> hello. And sometimes <laughs> I, I I I tell you Vanessa and then Carla Carla Vanessa tell me okay. <laughs> No, yes, so, so that's the reason I say Carla Vanessa and Vanessa Noemi, right? Okay, 
So yeah. uh, any question, <laughs> no Vanessa, problem. something that you need to practice? Um, I think one topic that is, well, many topics, but I think specifically like, that I think is difficult is when you use would rather. Ah, would, would rather. Would rather. The famous good rather. Uh -huh. Listen, I, listen, Vanessa, uh, a lot of the students have asked about this <laughs> class, right? Yes. So let, let's go. I will, uh, will I will share with you the, the presentation. Give me a second here, right? I will close this. Give me a second here. Because you can use wood, only wood. So uh huh. You can I, use only wood, correct? Right. Get confused with, with wood or rather. You can use wood and you can use would rather, right? <laughs> but just give me a second. Would rather. Mm -hmm. uh, how to use enough. I lost it. How to use would rather. Here's presentation number three. Yes. Would rather, okay. Here we are. Let me share with you, Vanessa. And one, two, three. Yes, this. Okay, here we are. Now, I'll, I will start with something simple, right? The verb like, right? You know that the simple present, Vanessa, is simple, right? Just subject, verb, and complement. Mm -hmm. I like pizza. I like football. I like Alianza. Football, right? <laughs> so I yeah. like. You love. <laughs> it's, it's something that yeah. is attractive to you, right? But if you want to be polite, amable, if you want to be polite, you can add, you can add the, the modal wood, right? Wood. That Vanessa, good is the past of want. One is oh, the really? present. Good is the past. Yeah. And will is the future, right? Querré, okay. quiero y quise o, o quisiera, you know? <laughs> so one, yeah. would. It's the same. It's the mismo, right? Want yeah. and would. So, but it's used when you want to be polite. Se usa cuando usted quiere ser amable. So, for example, I would like to eat pupusas. Right? Okay. I would like, or I like, in contraction, to go to Chalatenango. Chalate. She would like to sell the product. They would like to withdraw the service. Vanessa, oh, look, you're famous. Vanessa would like <laughs> to yeah, become yeah. a manager. No, I use your names when I make the presentation. Yeah, not that course. you say Domingo, Vanessa. <laughs> okay. So this is you. This is you. <laughs> Sorry to use your name. Huh? I don't know if all the rights are reserved, no. but. <laughs> okay, good. So this, again, I like is simple. Okay. No polite, no es amable. Solo me gusta el punto. Yeah. But when I say good like, you estoy haciendo amable. Especially when you go to a restaurant, you know, you say, I would like to see it, to see it, to see it, to see it, right? Mm -hmm. But when you use would rather, it's the same. It, you're going to be polite, right? Está siendo amable al decir que le gusta algo. But the only difference between would like and would rather is that when you use would rather, there is another option, right? Would like, only one option. Would rather, two options or three or four or five, et cetera, et cetera. So you have more oh, options. Okay. You have more options. That's it, right? That's the reason. The difference you like when you use would like. Would like only one option. Would rather mm -hmm. two options or more, right? Okay. In mm -hmm. span, in another word to use is uh, preference. So when you say I would rather is I prefer. If you like pizza or pupusa, you say, I prefer pizza, right? I would rather eat pupusa, right? For example, right? So if we have, you'd rather buy a better product. 
he would rather launch the product that would draw it. In question, would you rather swim in Cuatepeque or Ilopango Lake? For me, Ilopango, right? What would you rather eat? I can swim. <laughs> okay. Hamburger <laughs> or pizza? Uh, so two options, right? Good. The answer is yes, I would. No, yes, I would rather, right? Yes, I would. Okay, so again. So the question is, the answer is, I would eat. I would. Yes, I would. I would eat hamburger. No. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. But wait. If, 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 wait, wait. If you made the question. If the other person. Uh -huh. Okay, if you if make the question to you, right, Vanessa, options? would you rather eat a hamburger or pizza? You said. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. When I say, would you rather eat pizza? And then you say, yes, I would. Simple. Yes, mm -hmm. I would. Mm -hmm. Or, mm -hmm. no, I wouldn't. No, I rather not. Sorry. Uh, no, I rather not. Or I would rather not. Mm -hmm. I would rather not. Okay. Es negativo. Aquí no lo puse, pero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Tenía que haberlo puesto. Yes, I would. No, I would rather not. In negative, right? Okay. So that's it. And the other difference is, Vanessa, that here we use an infinitive. I would like to eat, right? But in the, in would rather, I rather buy, you know? No, I rather to buy, no. I rather do I know. I rather buy. So it's the base form, no infinity. The base form, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Understand? Okay. I have a lot of exercises yeah. here. Porque si no, aquí <laughs> tengo un montón de ejercicios. Yeah, I, I <laughs> no, no, right, Vanessa? Mm -hmm. I am, don't worry, I understand. Pase lo mejor. <laughs> okay, good. I would rather not. Okay. I would rather not. It's a negative, right? It's the base form. So. Good. Now, my okay. recommendations for tonight. Okay. Huh? My recommendations, how to improve your English, how to increase your English. My recommendations are, number one, music, right? Do you like music in English, Vanessa? Hello? Yes. Yes, yes, okay. I try to listen. Okay. Recommendation number two. <laughs> Movies. With... Give me a second, Vanessa. Creo que el internet está fallando, yes. Okay, ahora sí, ya, ya hoy sí a la veo bien. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now, with movies, <laughs> do, you, do you have Netflix? No, no soy vendedor de Netflix, Vanessa. Yes, sure. So, do you, do you yeah, have yes. Netflix? But I have it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, I good. Have. So, you have a variety of movies that you can practice in English, right? And to understand better, Vanessa, please put the subtitles in English, right? Recommendation number three. Remember today ever says that, ever, right? No, no, no. You say that, I guess, that reading is a good way to increase intelligence, right? Yes? No. No, ever. No digo, ever, no digo ever. usted, pues Carla Vanessa, lo digo, bueno. No, reading, reading. Somebody said that. Somebody said that, okay, um, reading. So in YouTube, you can go and access to audiobooks. Listen, audiobooks. So you only go to YouTube and say audiobooks in English, right? And you will have a lot of books. They last for about two hours. It's very long, right? But if you read one in book YouTube. every... Sorry? In YouTube. In YouTube, Google. yes. In YouTube. Audiobooks. It's true. Okay. For example, if you want to read The Little Prince... El Principito is there in English, in YouTube. 
So you only okay. listen and practice. Believe me, Vanessa, you will learn English a lot if you do that, right? Music, one okay. song every week. I will take no. Mm -hmm. Movies, one movie every every week. And audiobooks, one book every month, right? That's my recommendation for you. Okay. okay. I, I Vanessa, take note, teacher. Okay, please do it, do it. <laughs> Any extra question, Vanessa? Yes. Uh -huh. Extra question? No. no. Okay, good. And the last question. How do you like the class? Any relation for the class, Vanessa? No, I like it. I oh. like your, the, the conversation that you do in the first part oh, of the class. Like... This is very important okay. because we can practice. We can practice, yes, speaking, yes. right? And the, well, the topics, I like the topics. <laughs> Intelligence. There are some topics that are very strong, for example, but I won't do it yes. if they're so strong. For example, abortion, it's it's very strong topic, right? Yeah. Okay. But yes. in the future, I will give you more, more topics, Vanessa, okay? Thank you very much. Yes, okay. Thank you to stay in thank my class. You. God bless you, and I hope to see you, you tomorrow, right? Bye-bye. Yes, thank you, teacher. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. God bless you.